All right, this is Miss Odell by George Harrison off of, uh, it's a bonus track off of Living in the Material World. Um, somebody requested me to do this song a long, long time ago, but I just never got around to it because I, I didn't really think it was worth doing, honestly. It was kind of like a throwaway track to me, at least, but somebody else requested it, and I kind of felt bad for not doing it all that time ago um, because this channel is kind of to show songs that, um, you know, don't have a lot of videos out there showing you what to do for them. Um, and I kind of like didn't follow that rule, I guess, for that song. And, and I kind of felt guilty about it back then. And then it was brought up again now. So I thought, you know, to, to get this weight off of my chest, um, might as well make it. Um, but it's not too difficult. There's no capo required. Um, and the chords are pretty simple. Uh, the timing is also pretty simple to, to get a hold of, too. Um, I think the hardest part about this is keeping the same rhythm going, especially if you're a beginner. Um, so the song has an intro and a verse, which are very similar, like all the other songs I have on here. Um, and then there's a bridge part that's a little bit complicated. George likes to do that a lot. Um, and that's it. It's a pretty easily structured song, not really hard to get a hold of. Um, so what it is, to start off the intro, it's a walk down, three, two, And then an E minor chord. So what I'm doing throughout the whole entire song, the uh, rhythm is the same. So what I'm doing is hitting that bass note, and then the whole chord, and then down, up, down, up. That might be a little bit challenging to beginners. If it is, then you know, go ahead and do it slow and then uh, get faster and faster to get better at it uh, over time. Um, so yeah. So you do that pattern twice on the E minor and then you go to an A. Twice. Back to that E minor. Twice again. And then you go to a C. twice again, and then you go to a G. Now for this G, um, it's kind of gonna go from a G to a C with that pinky finger still on from that G. I don't know what this chord is exactly called, but um, we're gonna go from here to here. I think it's four times um, with that same picking pattern. <laughs> Again, if that's too uh, challenging for you, uh, do it slow and then get faster over time. Or you can just play now, play just the regular G. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and play the full intro. So that's the full intro. Now the verse is pretty similar, but you're going to start off with a G and you're going to do that same picking pattern. I don't know how many times he does it. I think it's like eight times or whatever. Um, you can tell when he changes um, because his tone of voice changes. So it goes from a G to a C. Back to that E minor, A, back to E minor, C, and then to that alternating thing I showed you in the intro. And that's the whole verse. Um, I think he does that twice and then he goes into the bridge, or he does it once and goes to the bridge. I'm not sure, but if you listen and play along with the song, you'll be able to tell. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and play the intro and then the first verse for you. I already missed. 
So instead of going to the A, go to C. messed up in the beginning one more time the uh, intro is three two one e minor a e minor c and then that okay uh, now the bridge part comes right after the verse um so you're gonna do this thing again so that part kind of ends the verse so after you do that four times you're gonna go to a regular c chord and you're gonna do that picking pattern four times Go to a B minor twice. Go back to that C once, and then a F once, and then a D twice. And then you're gonna go straight into the beginning of the verse, which is just a G. That's the bridge part. So what I'm going to do now is play the intro, first verse, go into the bridge, and then start off that second verse or third verse or whatever, um, however the order goes. Um, I think it's two verses, actually. But for the sake of having a shorter video, uh, I'll just go intro, verse, bridge, and then uh, hopefully you can pick it up from this uh, demonstration. One more time. Again, hardest part is probably this part where you switch from the G to the C. A lot of like uh, Bob Dylan-esque folky stuff happens to have that in it. So um, if you're looking to practice more of that G to that C, um, you just find more songs <laughs> around this uh, genre and you'll figure it out. But yeah, hopefully this song is uh, helpful and uh, people like it. <laughs> And I, hopefully I won't feel guilty after uh, this for not making this for a long time. Anyway, that's it. Goodbye.